G'day viewers, Retro Man here. Today I'll be talking about this hard rockin' soundtrack from 1989. Yes, Roadhouse with Patrick Swayze. And guess what? Swayze even sings. It's gonna be fun, guys, so stay tuned for Roadhouse, the soundtrack. Coming to you from a basement studio somewhere down under, it's the 80s show with Australia's Retro Man. On tonight's show, Retro Man does an appraisal of the memorable movie soundtrack, Roadhouse. Well, what are we waiting for? Lights, camera, Retro Man. G'day viewers, Retro Man here and welcome to the 80s show. Now today I'll be doing another episode of memorable movie soundtracks. Yes, I'll be talking about the 1989 soundtrack for the Patrick Swayze movie Roadhouse. This is it right here. This is a fantastic movie. It is full of action, romance, philosophies, good humour and of course amazing music. That's why I've selected this soundtrack to talk about and it contains 10 amazing songs. You've got a bit of blues in here, you've got a bit of rock and you've got a little bit of soul courtesy of Otis Redding. And the blues and rock songs are definitely by the Jeff Healy Band. And hey, Jeff Healy, how can you do without a little Jeff Healy? I mean, Jeff Healy is an amazing jazz, rock and blues guitarist from Canada, famous for just laying that guitar on his lap and he just plays away. He is an amazing guy, Jeff Healy. Jeff Healy was a great guitarist and he's actually featured in the movie. Do you remember Jeff is that blind guitarist in the film? He was also blind in real life. Uh, he played himself in the film basically and he shares a cool little moment in the film with uh, Patrick Swayze. He's really, the Jeff Healy band is really the house band of Roadhouse. They're the house band. They keep the movie moving. They keep it pumping. There's four Jeff Healy songs on here and there's two songs, amazingly, from Patrick Swayze. And there's a whole heap of other great songs on here as well. So let's get straight into it, guys. The first song on the Roadhouse album is by the Jeff Healy Band. It's called Roadhouse Blues. Yes, and if you've heard that song before, it's actually a cover of a Doors classic by the same name. Jim Morrison and the Doors came out with Roadhouse Blues back in the day, and the first track on this album is by the Jeff Healy Band, and boy do they cover it well. It is a fantastic hard rocking track, and wow, it's hard to pick which one I prefer, really. Do I prefer the Doors song? Or do I prefer the Jeff Healy one from Roadhouse? Man, it is hard to choose. Roadhouse Blues, the Jeff Healy band. What a track. Jeez, they add so much energy to this number. Oh, I love it. And uh, that's the first track, Roadhouse Blues. So let's move into track number two. This is also a cover. This is Blue Monday by Bob Seger. It's a cool little version of a 1950s song by Smiley Lewis. And Bob does a tremendous job here. And uh, it's a great track to listen to. So let's move along to track three. We have I'm Tore Down by the Jeff Healy Band. This is another track from Jeff and the Boys, and boy does this have some pump. This is a wild track. This really sums up the essence of the film, the atmosphere of that smoky bar and that hard living. And uh, hey, this track, once you put it on, it is, wow, a party starter. It really gets under your skin, gets you pumped. And this is actually a cover of a Freddie King song from the 60s. So that's interesting. Again, another cover on this album. Yes, 
And let's move along to song four. It's an Otis Redding song. It's called These Arms of Mine. Wow, what a soulful tune that is. Otis Redding, I mean, oh, it is soulful, sexy, and has a great feel to it. And uh, it pops up in the movie on the love scene between Patrick and Kelly Lynch. And uh, it's just amazing. It suits the film so well. It's a classic little track by Otis, and wow, oh, it's great. These arms of mine. So moving right along to track five, and we've got another song by Jeff Healy. The Jeff Healy Band with When the Night Comes Falling from the Sky. Now this is a cover of a Bob Dylan song. And oh man, this is probably the premiere track on the album. I love this song when the night comes falling from the sky. It has such a great feel and vibe to it. And it really gives a lot of atmosphere to the movie. It comes on right at the end of the film. And oh man. This is an unforgettable song from the Roadhouse soundtrack. Jeff Healy, once again, what a cracker. And we've got number six. This is... Rad Gumbo by Little Feet, the American rock band Little Feet. And this is like a bit of a rockabilly number. It makes you feel happy. It's a cool little song just to put on and, yeah, just chill and feel great about. So that's Rad Gumbo by Little Feet. She took the gumbo, a minor rad gumbo, is the only way she can go. So moving right along now to number seven, guys, and the star of the film, Patrick Swayze, sings a fantastic song here. It's called Raising Heaven in Hell Tonight, and it really suits the atmosphere of the film. It's a moody, smoky little song for a very atmospheric film, and uh, Swayze's vocals are astonishing in this. They're really, really great. I mean, he did uh, She's Like the Wind in Dirty Dancing, but... Uh, this is uh, this should have got some radio play. I really feel like this song deserved a little better. And if you love Roadhouse and its soundtrack, Patrick Swayze nails Raising Heaven in Hell Tonight. We'll be raising heaven in hell tonight. Fill the shots with tender light. And uh, moving right along now to a number eight. It's a Chris McKay song. It's a bit of a feel-good romantic song called A Good Heart. And actually, this was a hit by Fergal Sharkey a few years earlier. So this is a cover by Chris McKay. And wow, what a song it is. I really like it. It's just a feel-good song. It's got just nice vibes about it. And uh, it certainly balances out the Roadhouse soundtrack. You've got those wild Jeff Healy songs, and then you've got a song like A Good Heart that comes along and just sort of levels out the soundtrack to make it something special. A good heart these days is hard to find. So please be gentle with this heart of mine. So let's move along to number nine, another track from the Jeff Healy Band. Wow, this is a great one. It's Hoochie Coochie Man. This is a cover version of that Muddy Waters classic. This is really bluesy and earthy. And uh, hey, what a song, Hoochie Coochie Man by the Jeff Healy Band. And the final track on the Roadhouse album. This is song number 10. It's by Patrick himself. This is the Patrick Swayze song, Cliff's Edge. Man, this is a moody ballad. And it rounds out the album. And it's, uh, it's got a lot going on here. You might want to listen to this song a few times to get that full feel. That Patrick Swayze intensity is on show in Cliff's Edge. Edge. Wow, what a song that rounds out the Roadhouse soundtrack. So what do I do with the stiff wish I have when it clips the edge of me? This is 
10 amazing songs really. This is a wild and woolly soundtrack. You've got all that the bluesy rock fuel Jeff Healy songs and then you've got other songs by Swayze which are amazing and then you've got these little things like Rad Gumbo which is a happy little track and you've got those other songs like that Otis Redding one. Oh man Otis don't we just love Otis Redding? Hey what a romantic singer he was and uh, of course we've got Bob Seger and Blue Monday. So that just about wraps it up guys. But what I would like to know is, do you like the Roadhouse soundtrack? I certainly do. There's some songs in here that really get me pumped. And uh, share your memories about the Roadhouse soundtrack. In fact, tell me what's your favorite track from the album. Is it a Jeff Healy song or is it something else? Maybe it's a Swayze track. Hey, there's plenty of songs on here and they're all great. That's the Roadhouse soundtrack from that fantastic action movie from 1989. Now on a bit of a sad note, two of the big contributors to this album, Jeff Healy and Patrick Swayze, are no longer with us. They passed away back in the 2000s. But boy, did they leave behind something special with this one. I really like this Roadhouse soundtrack and uh, I'm sure there's plenty of fans out there. I think they got the balance of uh, material right here. And uh, hey, why didn't Patrick Swayze have a bigger career in music? We know him from his acting, but uh, hey, maybe you should dust off the Roadhouse soundtrack and have another listen to these Swayze songs. They're really something else. And of course, the legacy of Jeff Healy lives on. Rest in peace, guys. Your music was amazing. He's not what you'd expect. I thought you'd be bigger. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that wraps it up, guys. Thanks for watching The 80s Show. I have lots more coming your way on that Patrick Swayze front. And, of course, more memorable movie soundtracks. Well, that's it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This is Retro Man, living the dream, 80s style. Stay gold. Thanks for watching. Retro Man will return faster than a boomerang and just as tough as Patrick Swayze. Now that's tough. Real tough. Please subscribe and good night viewers.